presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you, with your gold report, you just print in money. I love it. Uh, you're my best ad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us here. Now. Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Always do your best, but don't overdo. Always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and you go against yourself, and it will take longer to accomplish your goals. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 637, Nasdaq's up 245, S&P's up 83, gold contract up $18.30, trading at 1888 an ounce. Get silver up 22 cents, twenty-two dollars eighty-nine cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up five ninety-four, hundred and eight dollars thirty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up eighteen ticks, trading one nineteen oh three. The thirty-year up thirteen ticks at one forty twelve. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down uh, eight hundred and seventy-five ticks, trading one oh two five ninety. The euro is out here at one oh six. The yen is at one twenty-eight point ninety-five. And the British pound is trading out at a price point of 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? So let's talk about Powell first. Powell came out. He's, the news conference is still going on. 50 basis points. That's what we went up. And prior... In the news conference, okay, you're gonna, I'll put this S&P up for you so you can see how this shook out because this is pretty wild. The question, you know, bottom line inside of the conference, what I'm explaining, folks, is how uh, and, you know, when this basically uh, took off like a rocket ship. And, you know, you had the S&P was down at uh, 4146, and bottom line, we're 110 points over that right now. And what the question was, is that was 75 basis points on the table. And Powell answered that not only 75 basis points was not on the table, that they had not even discussed it. And uh, <laughs> the market took off. Now, bottom line, as I man, Mr. Basil Chapman would say, uh, the day is young. Uh, but it, you know, this market should hold. If this, if this market doesn't hold out here today, uh, this will be a real disaster for a lot of folks that just bought it, unfortunately. But that's kind of how this is set up. Now, if we get, get into the market and we take a look at it, we take a look at the SPY first. What you're looking at is that we're up 7, uh, 8, 840. Uh, you get volume out here of uh, 92 million. That's going to say we're going to do 110, 120 million. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we're going to have to because you're coming into 132 million. NDX 100. Now, that the NDX 100, they, they are buying that uh, hand over fist at this particular point. The... That's up $7.31. 89 million is the number. And as I said, when we're, when we're doing just this update, what you do have here is that this has broken the downtrend from the last leg down at 247. So this is going to get intriguing to see that, okay, bottom line is that uh, can it get up uh, into this swing point? And, you know, we'll, we'll know a lot more basically when it's follow through. The reason. Being is that you have a swing point out here of 
98 million. So the NDX should be able to do that in a heartbeat. Now, if it can't do that, that's going to tell us quite a bit also. I mean, if we, if we have a situation that in the next hour that you can't do another 10 million, um, that would be problematic. You know, I, I don't think we're going to have that, but I'm bringing it up so they can give you a heads up as to where we are in this market. Gold contract. We have the gold contract. Bottom line, what it had done, it, it rejected lower price as it had come back to its breakout area. Bottom line, looks like we're going to have a sign of strength today. And the sign of strength, bottom line, looks like, no, we're not going to. Because we know what's going to happen. The gold contract still not going to have enough volume. It's 143,000 contracts out here. Um, we need like a couple hundred thousand contracts, and we're not going to get um, 60,000 contracts in the next hour. So we'll see where this shakes out tomorrow. What we do have is that you're inside 1889, which is, which is a good deal because uh, it's getting closer to 1891. Is it 91? It's 1893 that it has to, if it gets up to that point, that gets you in the higher range. You know, once we dropped out of that range, bottom line, now you got to get, get back inside of that range. If we go into the silver contract, we take a look at uh, SIH. We t no, SIH, no, SIH. Well, excuse me, folks. We take a look at the silver contract. Right now, silver's trading. Uh, so one second. Sorry about this. SI. Let's get the right contract. That'll be a good start. Come on, baby. Where are you? Where I yes. Okay, here we go. Silver, we're up twenty six cents. You're at twenty two ninety five. Okay, that's that's a that's a good number. Hasn't if we can get it up a little bit higher, that's where you get the break of the downtrend that we've been in, and uh, you get a little fall through. It wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to bring that line down just yet but get a little bit higher you're going to be able to do it and good old king dollar so what you do have a king dollar finally is that you get slight pullback you know we're back 806 ticks and the real question is if we get follow through on the other side then guess what that just may be the triple top inside of the king dollar because if we take a look at this we bring this up we put this on a much longer chart what you're going to see it's been hanging at these highs man I mean, and the longer that you uh, hang at highs, the more probability that you can take it out. So when we actually, when I actually put that up, like, you know, like if you're watching Tiger TV, you know, you can almost say that, hey, you're still at highs. But right now we're about 800 bucks off of highs. We got to take a look at the bond market. What do you have with the bond market, the 10-year right now, bottom line? The 10-year is up 18 ticks. Uh, and this bounce here, let's see what we have. You get 1.4 million contracts. Yeah, I suspect that's that's going to be just a dead cat bounce. Yeah, you can have light volume. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow Industrials right now trading up 700. NASDAQ is up 294. S&Ps are up 95. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
the TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500 plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 733. You got the NASDAQ up 317. S&Ps are up 98. Let's go take a look at uh, some of the uh, equities for a few of the tigers out here. We're going to start with, um, let's see, this is Suncor Energy. Uh, the low is 17. The high is 37. That's today. Okay, so this is an integrated uh, company. Okay, oil sands. Uh yeah, Calgary. Okay, so this is an oil sands company. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we take a look at revenues. These, I expect them to go up pretty dramatically. Yeah, look at this. So last year they did $39 billion. This year they're looking to do $50 billion. Technically, we're going to take a look at this. Okay, so let me put this on a weekly. Took out the highs going back three years ago. Change this to a monthly. Yes, can it, can it? Oh, 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 interesting. I see what's happening now. Okay, so you have volume. Okay, so in March, you were going high with 214 million. April, we did 132 million. Yeah, I'd be really careful with this, man. So what's going on is this. This is trying to get up to a swing, and the swing really, it doesn't have a lot of volume, the swing, which is 42 million. But you can see that the, the, the drop-off last month was pretty extensive, man. The month before, you had 214 million. Last month, you only had 132. Yeah, I'd be careful with this, man. That's the real bottom line. That's, that's how that seems to be setting up. Um, yeah, we got a, a couple of the uh, Tigers in here talking about that the aspect. Is, first thing I went to, two folks, okay? I went to the uh, builders just to see where they're going. So let's bring a couple of them up. So if you bring up Toll Brothers, uh, bottom line, you're going to see you're up a buck 87. Now, Toll Brothers had gone straight down from $75 down into uh, 44 um, you know, you got a little juice here. I mean, I wouldn't get that. Well, listen, bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out, what type of retracement this is going to be. But they're all moving. You got Toll Brothers up. We got Home Depot, bottom line. That came off a low. Um, this, would, this is also a straight move down from 430 to 291. You're at 313. Now, 
Home Depot, we're up 867, but Home Depot does not have the volume. Home Depot looks like to me it's going to actually give it up on price today. Now, it, when I say we give it up on price, the, the swing point out here is 318. It's like, okay, you're at 314. Your other swing is at 314.53, and it hasn't even been able to make it to that area. So if Home Depot can't make it up to that area, um, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Uh, let's go take a look at uh, DHI, DH Horton. DH Horton out here. That's up three bucks. This has more volume, this one here. I mean, this is a straight line move down from $110. We hit a low of 68 two days ago. And it's going to be the same kicker here. Uh, these are going to be interesting to watch tomorrow or the next day. Meaning, because that's when they look like they're going to get up into their swing point. That, that's, how this that's how this works. So we'll see how it goes. Some of the higher volume equities, uh, and we'll find out whether we're going to get volume in this market out here. You get Advanced Micro, that's up $6.5. Lyft is down $9.5. You got Uber off $132. NVIDIA is up $6. You get Bank of America up $1.34. Meta Platforms is up $9. You get some big, big numbers. Starbucks up $7.50. Um, Tesla's up $27. Let's go to Starbucks, S-B-U-X, because this, you talk about some volatility. Starbucks right now, okay, so that was a one-way move down too, man. So Starbucks moved down from 116, hit a low yesterday of 73. Now, you get some juice into this today. There's no doubt about that. But it's going to need some juice. You're, gonna need, you're at 24 million shares. As it gets up to the swing, now the swing's quite a way from where we are. We're at 82. The swing is at 92. You know, so bottom line is that we'll see whether it can handle price up at those levels. Let's go to the GDX. We'll take a look at the GDX. Uh, G GDX out here. This is uh, trading up right now, uh, 43 cents. And we're at 35.54. That's going to need more volume, man. Yeah. This is not a lot of volume at all. You get 18 million yeah, you got 18 million shares. You're coming into 20. It'll do. It'll do that. But you're going to need more than that. Uh, Barrett come out with numbers today. The numbers were good. Uh, bottom line, uh, you know, uh, Barrick's up 59 cents. Uh, they let's see what Barrick has to say. Okay, so their first quarter results, adjusted earnings per share. Um, 26 to 29 cents year over year. The estimate was 24 cents. Revenue was 2.85 billion. The estimate was 2.88 billion. Free cash flow, uh, 393 million. Gold production, 990,000. Uh, all in sustaining cost, uh, 1,164 versus 1,018. Now that's a good number to, to watch. See that, see that number that last? So all in sustaining cost, folks, has to do with taking the um, or out of the ground, getting it into form, you know, whether it's coi coins or bars, bars basically, and then fixing the land again. And you can see when you take a look at that number, um, you know, 164 versus 1,018, you have costs that are going up there in order to do that. But still 1,064 is not bad. Uh, that's, that's, the, that's the bottom line. And uh, Ken, KGC, now this is an interesting one, and I know most of you folks have been listening for a long time. This is a disaster, Ken Ross, because what ended up happening, you know, we happened to be in a great position, and uh, when I was doing the interview with uh, their CEO, this, I'm going back like 15 years, when they had put a bunch of money into Russia, um, one of Putin's, this is when Putin was just really taken over. Uh, what had happened is that the CEO at that time, I forget his last name, his first name was Bob. Uh, he had already poured millions in. The bottom line, they wanted more. He said, no, see you later, they don't want to do it. They ended up canning him as the CEO. And then guess what? The bottom line, all that work in Russia, they no longer have it. 
They just had to sell it. They just sold it to one of the Olgagats. Uh, you know, here it is here. And I'm sure it was sold for nothing. So, and that was BGO was inside of this. And yeah, it's a mess. So uh, let's see. We're, yeah, they're, yeah. They, they sold it for $680 million. Keeping a pledge to exit Russia after the, you know, the bottom line is they can't do business in Russia. That's the bottom line. But sad but true. They told me that 15 years ago. Imagine, so <laughs> he must be sitting there saying, man, I told you 15 years ago, you canned me. And they haven't made a dime, by the way, in Russia the whole time anyway. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 760. NASDAQ's up 312. S&P's up 100. We'll come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, here's one of uh, Powell's quotes, okay? Inflation is much too high, and we understand the hardship it is causing, and we are moving expeditiously to bring it back down. He added that there was a broad sense on the committee that, the, that an additional, that additional 50 point increases should be on the, on the table for the next couple of meetings, okay? So the bottom line is if we bring this over here, you're gonna see uh, what we're doing now is we're bringing up the Fed, Fed page over here, folks, and you're gonna be able to see the, the rate. Uh, you can see it right here. Discount rate, 0.50, uh, lower band, 0.75, top band, 1.00. That's the 50%, 5 five fifth, uh, half percent hike. Now they want to get that to two and a half. So the bottom line is that you know the market's looking at that three more quarter point. Uh, I mean a half point uh, hikes, and you're at two and a half. The real question is going to be, uh, what does the 
10 year and 30 year do as that gets up there. You know, that's that's the real bottom line. We go take a look at the uh, XAU, the HUI. No, no, let's I want to go look at oil. That's what I want to look at. OK, so if you if you heard Tommy's show this morning, uh, Teddy Cakes that. And now Teddy Cakes that folks is one of the first guys that I ever heard that it oil was going to go to one hundred dollars. And it was on Tommy's show, and that's when oil was down like at $72. So needless to say, you know, this is something you got to pay attention to. Um, and he was talking about this morning that he thinks that, you know, a year from now, oil's going to be like at $150, and we're going to be paying $8 for gas. So pretty intense. Right now you get the contract up uh, 547 You get 252,000 contracts. Now, see, what's going to get interesting here with this is that as the you know, oil was this high with the dollar being high, if the dollar starts going down, then yeah, this thing can retest again. You know, the, the way that I look at this right now is that I think oil, but yeah, can be, can go to, you know, can fluctuate up to 113 or something. My take is that it doesn't look to me like that's what we're gonna do. And the reason I'm saying that is that the last couple times, well, particularly the last time that we went down, we came down with some big volume. So we'll see how this can handle the 109.20 area. And I did go to the OIH yesterday, so I want to go back to that. And when we take a look at the OIH, this here, you know, had already tested the highs with tremendously light of volume. Uh, we're filling the gap. Now, this is up today. You're filling the gap. Let me see this again. So you're filling this gap up here today, uh, but you don't have enough volume, man. Yeah, you should, we should be banging out like, come on, why isn't this giving me the time? We should be banging out, I think it's one point, yeah, we should be banging out like 1.3 million, and right now you're at 824,000. And the number to keep your eye on here inside of this is the uh, 282, no, the high of that, there it is. Actually, 278.82. Because we're over that right now by four points. If you stay over it, then guess what? You can get up to the high once again. Well, oh, no, I see what's going on. Okay, 284. The number to keep your eye on is 284 flat. What 284 is, folks, is that that's how we came down and you had 1.7 million uh, shares at that level. So that is one monster level. There's no doubt about it. Uh, we get a couple... Let's go take a look at rig Transocean. Uh, Transocean right now is up 30 cents. You're at 429. The low for the year is 263. The high is 556. And what, you know, I, I can picture, you know, what should happen. What should happen, yeah, this is not enough volume on this, though. But what, that, what you do have is you have a high volume high. So let me bring this back. Whoops, can't bring it back that far. Let's bring it back. I bring it three years and a weekly. Yeah, that can get tested. You get a high volume high. And so let me show you something here too. See this, this is a high volume high and it's a shooting star. Shooting stars folks love to get tested. Um, and you can see the amount of volume that's out there. It, that won't, the first time up, it's not gonna take that out. That volume was, Insane, 370 million. I'm not quite sure, you know, how it got up that high. But bottom line, that's real. It took out the other swing point, then gave it up on price. You pull back with light volume. That's saying, yeah, you can get up into the higher price, no doubt about it. And yes, Valero. We we're talking about Valero yesterday. The crack spread is huge. Um, that would totally make sense. Uh, that that baby would just keep going as the market is keep going. Uh, let's go over to the uh, NDX. So inside of the NDX. The strength versus the weakness today. Strength, Starbucks is up 10.5%. AMD is up 8.5%. Airbnb is up 7 Match is up 6 Taken away from it. IDEX Pharmaceutical, down 5.5%. Skyworks, down 5.5%. Vertec, down 35 Surprising that anything's down when you get a, a, a number like this. We go take a look at the Dow Industrials. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have? Point-wise, they're all positive out here today. So let's see what we have. 
You have uh, Home Depot's the leader. That's uh, putting 63 positive points. Home, uh, Goldman, 62. Honeywell, eight. The weakest stock out here, Verizon, that's still putting, uh, excuse me, six points into that Dow Industrials. If we actually take a look at that chart inside the Dow Industrials, Okay, so you have 8.52, take this, put this on a weekly. Now what you're going to have, yeah, we'll see how this works, man. You know, the bottom line is that you, what, you, what you have done, you, have, you didn't get to the, the, the low that has a high volume, which is 32.272. You got to 32,449, and now that's going to that's going to that's going to make an attack again. Once again, I mean that that's quite a move in the Dow Industrials. There's no doubt about that. Big time too. Amazon. Let's go take a look at a couple a couple of the big dogs out here. And well, you know what's intriguing with Amazon, which I didn't really. If, so Amazon is up 23 bucks. This is saying quite a bit. So they're not buying Amazon. And Amazon's not going to have the, the volume either. But this is really intriguing. I heard this this morning, though. This was intriguing. That it said that Amazon, I have to read this up before I get into it, but um, Amazon was actually contracting some of its warehouses and was going to lay off almost 100,000 people. I hadn't uh, basically dug my head into that uh, prior to that. Uh, Microsoft. We take a look at Microsoft. What do we have with Microsoft out here? Okay, so Microsoft up seven bucks, 24 million. That's not enough either. So these are going to get intriguing, folks, okay? Okay, let me take, so Amazon and Microsoft, two, two high flyers, right? Bottom line, that's not enough juice. You know, these should have, this, <laughs> Microsoft definitely should have a lot more juice, as should uh, Amazon. So let's go to... Uh, NVIDIA. We take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going to bounce. NVIDIA is down from 346 at a low of uh, 182. Man, this stock. You get a bounce going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Buy 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 902. Nasdaq's up uh, 377. S&Ps are up uh, 123. So let's go over to the S&Ps and take a look at them. We've been talking about enough ABC structures on the way down, and let's see if we got any intraday ABC structures on the way up. Okay, so, oh, that's a straight line move. Interesting. No, you don't have... <laughs> yeah. No, this has strictly been a straight line move from uh, 40... 146, 246, holy cow. Yeah, this just went straight up 150 S&P points. <laughs> uh, I go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs, more than likely it's gonna be the same thing. Right now you're at 427. Same deal. What does get interesting here, watch this, five, six days. Okay, so we just took out uh, 542. Okay, we haven't we got the 528. It's looking to take out three days ago. So um, we'll see whether they can make it. That's almost. Uh, put this on eight days for a second. See what happens here. Let's see. Okay. Well, you got to start. That's the real bottom line. What's going to be intriguing here is that. <laughs> just look at this. If you get the volume, oh, I see it's dying on the vine. Yeah, look at this, folks. You just want to see this, and it should. I mean, it, it, markets don't go up forever, or down forever either. But look at this. So your first expansion off the low had the biggest amount of volume, which is forty-one thousand contracts. Next ten minute, thirty-five thousand contracts. Next one. 23, 20, 20. Last 10 minutes was 18. But I don't think that, you know, we're not, we're not gonna back off at this particular point from there, but they got them going. There's no, there's no doubt about that. Uh, that is for sure. Let's go take a look at the, um, see if any of these can get going. Netflix. Netflix is going nowhere. Now, that tells you a lot about Netflix, okay? When you get a market like this and Netflix can't even get a bounce, you have $3, don't touch Netflix, folks, because the bottom line is that that's saying it all. After the close out here today, we're going to have eBay come out with this numbers. Let's go see what eBay is doing. Okay, so the low on eBay for the year is uh, $49. The high is 81 they are going to be looking to take in $2.5 billion and a dollar four to the bottom line. And that's not doing anything either. Wow. That is really intriguing. Yeah. That's telling me eBay is going to go lower after the close out here. And then we get uh, BK, that's bookings.com, I think. Now, this is, yeah, we got book and holdings. The low is 1796, the high is 2715. They're going to be looking to take in 2.5 billion and 
make 71 cents. Okay, so this Yeah, this doesn't look good. Uh, so this will be really an intriguing one. The reason being, this is always a highly volatile stock and you know, you get a high volume low that you can see that high volume low from 8 weeks ago, 1796. And that hasn't been tested yet. Um Look at that gap. I guess, oh, the, I see the gap, 1796, too. Oh, you want to see something crazy, folks? you got to see this if you've never seen how these can fill gaps. Now, the fill of this gap, watch this, though. The fill of the gap was too much volume. I watch that. This is crazy. Particularly for, 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 for a stock that is this expensive, meaning number-wise, look at this for a second. So the gap, the exact number on the gap is $1,796 and one penny, okay? And then we came down... We came down to 1796.45. Now, the problem is that for the equity is that you come down with volume. So it's like, okay, you're going to go test that area again. That's pretty wild that you, you actually just about have a gap filled, but with that type of contraction, you know, not contraction, the expansion that we saw. Because that, that is one monster expansion as you're getting into it. Let's go over to Apple and we'll take a look at Apple. Apple uh, up six six and a half dollars right now, I think. So you get 92 million shares. Oh, see, this is going to get interesting, man. It's 165.45. So 166.20 is the number from two days ago, three days ago. Last well, what day is today? Today's Tuesday. That would have been uh, last Thursday. That's what it's trying to take out. The contraction's big. Doesn't mean you can't take it out tomorrow, but that's, cool. that's quite a contraction, meaning um, you come in 92 million shares into 131 million shares. So there's no reason to kind of do a little more of a bounce, that's for sure. Uh, but when it comes down to uh, the aspect of what you're going to see is this, and this is what's interesting about that Starbucks actually got such a run going topside also, is that they're telling folks that the bottom line in, in China, um, they're slowing down because they're shutting down. That's, that's the bottom line. Um, oh, today's Wednesday. Thank you. Time's flying, man. <laughs> you're having fun. <laughs> so that was last Friday I was talking about that. Uh, thanks, Mr. G. Yeah, yesterday was Taco Tuesday. I like it. The, uh, and tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. That's the real bottom line. So Airbnb, let's go take a look at Airbnb for one of the targets out here. Uh, you got Airbnb, this is trading up 1027, the lows 129, the highs 212. They did come out with numbers. They took in 1.5 billion and they lost 30 cents. We take a look at this baby. Yeah. This hasn't been able to move on price. Interesting. Now, when you, you see something like this, okay, so you've heard me talk about this many times. When you, this equity here, now this, what's really intriguing about this is this. You have volume in the move, but yet you can't take out even the swing point. It's, a, it's really like a small swing point from Friday. That's problematic because that's saying that someone is sitting right there selling, selling, selling. Now, yeah, granted, it's up $10.61, but the swing we're talking about is a swing that doesn't have volume, which is 4 million shares. You see how this works now? You have 4 million shares, and the bottom of that is 153, and the high of that is 162. Well, what I've seen is this, is that when, you, when you're trying to get into something like that, after, this is after a downtrend, too. So after a downtrend, when you're trying to get back topside, even when you see the volume expand, if you can't get to the swing point, that's still a really weak stock because you got 18 million shares, and you can see we, all, we had 4 million shares last Friday, but yet you can trade at 163. What that's saying is that someone is laying off Airbnb right now and is very happy to get the 155. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow and Dush is up uh, 972. Nasdaq's up 415. S&Ps are up 130. Come on, you got to make 1,000 points up. Why not? Uh, let's go take a look at these volumes now. We started it out. Uh, bottom line is that, you know, we had volume, but nothing as, as much as you needed. I was curious as to how far we went up. So you got 100, uh, 122 million works. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Uh, 122 million definitely works. That means we've got 30 million. We're at 92 million when I started the show, folks. And you are going into 119 million. So that is saying that you go up to ICE. ICE is uh, laid out at 438, and we're at 428. That's uh, that's your next leg up. That's how this that, and that's probably about a. It's just it looks to me like a, that that would be about the 50 percent. Yeah, well actually, yeah, it's that's about a 0.618 uh, retracement from the leg higher from the leg down. If we go take a look at the uh, NDX 100, the three Qs, three Qs right now, that already had volume. So you're at 106. Oh, see, that's interesting. So what happened is this. So see that the, the oh, this get this straight in your head, folks. This is saying that the Qs are still the weakest indice. Because you remember when we, started the, when we started the program, right? The Qs had decent volume, but yet the Qs volume is laying off as the SPY volume went up exponentially. You know, so I suspect, you know, the Qs, yeah, this can still get to 335, and right now you're at 329, but the difference is pretty dramatic, I mean, uh, in volume. We take a look at the indice volume out here. What you have with the indice volume is that on the NYSE right now you're at 825. So that's saying we're only gonna do a billion, a billion 1.1, that's not a big deal. You know, we went down on 1.4, 1.2. 
We go into the NASDAQ composite. We look at the NASDAQ composite out here. You're, the composite will have it. You're at 4.9. That means you're going to move 5.5. That's what should be happening out here. And let's go take a look at the actual composite itself. And if we look at this composite, come on. Yes, yeah, same setup, meaning the composite did break its downtrend from the uh, 21st. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health tap is in prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks.